Hi, in this video we're going to be showing you a nice tool you could use to rip your DVDs into various video formats such as MP4. So this comes in handy if you want to do things such as maybe rip a movie to your laptop so you could take it on the road with you if you don't have a DVD player. Or maybe you want to back up your home movies that you have on DVD onto your computer. Uh, you could use this program to do so. So it's called WinX DVD Ripper Platinum. So if you go to their website you can see the features here. So a lot of users, I think this has a pretty high Google review, like almost five stars. So it works pretty well here. So if you go to the site, it just kind of tells you uh, what it supports, you know, all the formats. So I think there's several hundred formats, maybe, you know, iPhone, Android, uh, PC, Apple, iPad, and that type of thing. So you don't get any quality loss when you rip these DVDs. You could even rip them to ISO images if you want as well. And it also supports protected DVDs, you know, so these movies that are protected by the studios, uh, you could still rip them and it's uh, legal to do so. And then also, if you go to their accelerated video page, you can see uh, that it uses hardware acceleration to make the process faster. You know, supports Intel, AMD, NVIDIA, so pretty much anything you need to be covered here. All right, so let's open the interface here. All right, so you have your main screen. Uh, you have your destination folder, so this is where we're going to export it to. I think the default is using the WinX DVD folder, but I just changed it to the desktop. And then you have your hardware accelerator settings here for Intel and NVIDIA. And then up here you can burn to disk, ISO image, choose your folder, clear out everything, and then you have some options here. So this is where you could change your output folder if you want. And then you can have it shut down the computer when the job is done. All right, so we have a DVD in our drive here. Transporter movie. So that's what we're going to be ripping here. All right, so once you have your DVD loaded, you have your destination folder selected. All right, so all we need to do, like it says, is click the DVD button to load it. And then you have options here for auto detect, which is probably your best bets, or you could force UDF or force ISO. So say okay to that. So it's loading the disk right now. All right, so now here is where you could pick your format for the export. So MP4 is the recommended format, and then you could change the quality by adjusting the slider. So if you want a smaller file size and you want the rip to go a little quicker, you could change it to low quality. Or if you want to have a larger file with a little better quality, you could go to high quality. All right, then we have some general profiles here for other formats, AVI, iPhone and Android, uh, Windows Media, DVD copy. Even have a DVD backup section here for doing backups with some options. Clone DVD to ISO, clone it to a folder. Then, of course, we have all our Apple settings here. So if you open that, you can see all the subcategories here. Android, Android Mobile, Microsoft device, Sony devices, other devices. You can even rip it to a YouTube video if you're going to upload it to YouTube. Same with Facebook. General web video, PC general video, so there are tons and tons of options here. TV video, music, and TS video. All right, so we're going to go back up here to our recently used profile since that's the one we used last time. Click OK. Alright, so it automatically selected the correct title here for us based on what it read from the DVD. And if it doesn't do this, there is an option to have it do a search and then it usually will end up picking the right title for you after you do that. Alright, so once you have everything ready here, just click on the Run button. And then since we're going to rip it to our desktop, we don't need to have it open the folder when it's complete. So we'll uncheck that. All right, so we, we will pause the video and then be back when the process is complete. Okay, so the process has been completed here. So the DVD is now ripped. We can see it on our desktop, so we'll click OK. So it didn't take too long. It's actually a really quick process. And of course, your hardware is going to determine how fast it is as well. So if you have a newer DVD drive or newer computer, uh, then it's going to be a little quicker compared to if you have an older one. All right, so here is our transporter movie. If we right-click it, go to Properties, you can see it's 827 megabytes, which isn't too bad for a whole DVD movie. And then we could double-click it.
small office in a small town. So it came out pretty nice. So I'm recording at a low resolution. So of course it's going to look better at full resolution when you do it on your computer. All right, so as you can see, WinX DVD Ripper Platinum is an easy to use tool for ripping your DVDs. Let's go back to their website real quick here. So you can download the trial and check it out. And if you want to buy it, it's only $40 for the first year. So it's on sale, and right now they're having a holiday sale for $5 off as well. And of course, you could do the ultimate license as well, and also the 4 in 1 bundle. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you can check out WinX DVD Ripper Platinum, and then you can try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.